Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about RPM command. RPM stands for a Red Hat Package Manager. This command is used for installing packages on Linux system, uninstalling packages, update packages and also query the packages. So in this video, I will show you how to use RPM command to perform different tasks. As we know, to install packages on Windows system, we require .exe extension software. But in Linux, we require .rpm extension packages. So while working with Linux packages, always check package is having .rpm extension. So let's start with our first task. In the first task, I will show you how to install packages on Linux system. For this, I required a package. So either you can download package from the website or you can locally having a package on a DVD, a CentOS DVD or Red Hat DVD. The, in this video, the operating system which I am using here to perform this practical is CentOS 6.5. So, so let's first mount the DVD so that we can install packages from the DVD. For this, run the command mount location of DVD and the MNT directory. This MNT directory is used for temporary mount point. So our DVD is mounted now. As you can see, our DVD is mounted under MNT folder. So let's browse our MNT folder. Here we can see the CentOS DVD here. Our all packages are under packages folder. So these all are our packages. So to install a package on this system, we run command rpm-ivh. The i is used for installing, v is used for verbose and h for hashing and the package name. Suppose I'm installing here the FTP package. So this is my package name and just press enter. Here you can see my package is installed on this system. If you want to check whether my package is successfully installed or not, we run the command rpm-qa and the package name. In the output, it show me the package name. So it's successfully installed on our system. The same way, if you want to uninstall the package just simply run rpm hyphen e for erase and the package name. Just hit enter. Our package is removed from the system. If you if you find out that whether package is removed or not, just just query that particular package rpm hyphen qa and the package name. Now in the output, it doesn't show anything. It means our package is successfully removed from the system. So our package is removed. Now in the third task, I'll show you how to update the package with the help of RPM command. For this, I'll use two options to update the package. Either we can use capital UVH or we can use capital FVH. Both the option will update the package. The first one is capital UVH for update and the capital F is used for freshen. So what's the basic difference between these two options? If we use capital UVH, then if package is already installed and having an old version, then the package will be updated with the new version. 
with the help of capital U. If we use capital F, then if the package is installed, it will update the package. If package is not installed previously, it doesn't do anything. So that's the only difference between capital F and capital U. So suppose here we already erase the FTP package. So let's try to update the package. Suppose I use capital F option, RPM hyphen FVH. And if I try to install the package, it doesn't do anything. Why? As I already told you, that capital F option, if you try to update package with capital F option, it only works when the package is already installed on the system. All right. So suppose now in place of F, I'll use capital U and try to. Now the package is installed. All right. So if the package is not installed and you try to update with capital U option, it will install the package. And if package is already installed and we use capital U or capital F, it will update the package. If again, if I try to update the package again, then in that case, you have you have you with, with you the updated version of the package. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. It say that it's already been installed. So right now, I don't have any updated packages. But if you have the updated one, you can use uh, the updated one package and see the result with the help of capital U. So, in this way, we can update the packages. Now, in the fourth task, I'll show you how to query the packages. This is this one is the most important part uh, of RPM. This query package, this query option is mostly used while working on a production servers. So, I'll show you how to use this query. The first option is suppose I want to know that that particular package is installed on a system or not, then I'll use RPM hyphen QA and the package name. If it show me the output, it means that particular package having that particular version is installed on our system. And if it doesn't show anything, it, it means that particular package is not installed. If I try to query a package and doesn't give any package name and just hit enter, it show all the packages which which installed on this system. All right. So in this way, we can find out that particular package is installed or not. The second query option is RPM hyphen query list and the package name. So in this way, it lists the content of the installed packages. These all are content of the installed packages vs FTPD package. So in this way, we can check the content. Next one is RPM hyphen query C and the package name. It means we just want to query about the configuration file. So it just show me the configuration file of this package. You want to see the documentation file just enter rpm hyphen query qd and the package name and it will only show me the document package documents only and the next option is if we try to find out information about the particular package just run rpm hyphen qi and the package name and in this way it show me the output Give me the, uh, the details about the package, the name of the package, the version, the release, install date, vendor, build date, and all these things, the size, all these things. Okay, so in this way, we can get the information about the particular package. So we have checked the RPM hyphen QA option. QI is used for info about the package. QL is used to list the content of the installed package. QC is used for to check the configuration file. 
to check the documentation file we use QD. So now the next thing is suppose we have two systems on our system. We have two systems in our environment. On one system, one command is running. Suppose, for example, uh, we take ls command. We know this ls command is used for listing. All right. Suppose on this system, ls command is working. On another system, this ls command is not working. The only reason of not working is that particular package which is responsible for this ls command is not installed on the other system. So, so you have to find out the name of the package. So what you will do? Either you go to the Google and try to find out the this particular ls command to belong to which package. So it will take time. So to reduce that thing, we can find out this ls command belongs to which package. For this, we do, we run first which and ls. First, we try to find out the path of this ls command. So it's under bin and ls. The next thing is we query about this file rpm-qf and the location of this ls. So in the output, it show me that this package ls belong to core utls package. So we know the name of this package. So we just go to the other system and install this package. So finally, the ls command comes on the other system. So in this way, we can use this rpm command in different ways. So Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe my channel for more videos to come and also give me a thumbs up if you like this one. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.